Hello friends, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project online pharmacy store. And I have developed this project in Java Spring Boot, Angular and database I'm using the MySQL. On the Spring Boot side, we are using JPA, Hibernate, JB. And uh, we are using STS, Spring Boot tool suits for uh, developing the APIs. So this is a REST based, REST based application where we have developed all of the APIs and on Angular side, we are consuming those APIs, right? So both projects are running separately. Angular version is running separately and uh, the Spring Boot is running separately, right? So for Angular version, we are using Visual Studio code for writing the codes and we are running uh, through command prompt, right? And uh, for port, we are using port 8080 for Spring Boot application and that we are using the Tomcat. And for uh, Angular, we are using the port 4200. So this is all of the project configurations, project technology stacks, what we have used. Also, this is a boot stack theme. So this is a partial, partial responsive means it's not 100% because we have not added the responsive images and all but yes it's a partial responsive and it will work perfectly on the mobile device as well as apps and different screen sizes right so for front-end designing we have used html and css also so these all are the technology stacks which we have used for developing this project let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the modules available inside this project so the project title is online pharmacy store and this is a major project which has admin and customer panel admin can manage all of the orders admin can manage all of the medicines customer can order the products or medicines and customer can see the details of their order history so this is the basic uh, flow of the system so once you run the project you will get this home page you can see this is a home page and these are the static images not coming from the database these are the categories which are coming from the databases right this is about project and this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it this is all categories from here you will be able to see all of the categories so once you click on the categories you will be able to see all of the product which belongs to that category even you can search from there right you can see here this is all medicines from here you will be able to see all of the medicines currently these number of nine medicines are available inside the database but if you want to add more you can add more right from the admin panel suppose if i search for any medicine fino this is like search you can see the medicine has been filtered out if you click on the details you will be able to see the details of the medicine you can see the cost is 800 rupees and it belongs to the tablet and native <coughs> product site <coughs> so this is the comments also this is all of the reviews posted by customer site if you want to post your comments just click on the post Login to post comment and after that you can post your comments to here if you click on the add to cart then there is a restriction inside the project you will not be able to buy any medicine without registration right so this is all medicine part this is a customer login from where customer will be able to log in and he will be able to see his order history and he will be able to buy new medicines this registration if customer doesn't have the user id and password then customer can register from here this is a contact us page from here Customer can submit the contact us contact information. This is a feedback from here. Customer can submit the feedback about the website. Now I am going to log in as a customer. So the user ID is admin at the gmail.com and password is test. Once you click on the submit, then you will be able to see the customer panel, customer dashboard here, right? You can see home dashboard about all categories, all products, my cart my orders my account right once you click on the my orders you will be able to see all of the orders and if you click on any of the orders you will be able to see the details of that order right even my cart is empty so it's showing empty my administration my account you will be able to update your account details from here now i am going to buy some medicines all medicines and i'm going to buy this one add to cart so you can see this item has been added into the cart again continue shopping details add to cart so two items added add to shopping calcium 
add to cart so three items has been added all medicines suppose this one details add to cart so four items has had it added into the cart if you want to delete any item just click the delete button and that item will be deleted from your cart once you click on the checkout then it will ask for credit card details this is a dummy page there is nothing happening here there is no real transaction we are not making a type of real transaction here external call so enter any of the garbage value from here so you can enter any of the garbage values any of the dummy values right so this is the card type the expiry month and the and total amount you need to pay is 1200 right so it's not editable once you click on the make payment you can see your order number 294 has been generated and total amount you have paid is 1200 once you click on the print receipt then this page will be open in the printable format so order number 294 if you click on the my card you can see there is empty because you have already placed the order in the my order section you will be able to see the orders this one this is a 1200 rupees order right logout so you can see this is a session driven menu the menus will be different according to the login if you click on the logout then menu will be different you can see these are the different menu options coming here because it's a session driven it's sent according to the user session so some menu items will be appeared and disappeared according to the session you can see here right so now i comes on the log admin login once you click on the admin login you can see this is admin login and the user is admin and the password is test so admin and password is test right. once you click on the login you will get the login details right and once you click on the product management you will be able to see all of the products here right even you can edit and update the products you can edit and update the product right this is a category management from here you can add any number of categories and that those categories will be displayed on the home page and the category page this is admin category from here you will be able to category title description and choose the image this is all orders from here you will be able to see all of the orders you can see all orders are coming here once you click on this you will be able to see the details of our order this is the customer management from here you will be able to see all of the customers who are registered even you can add new customer from here too this is a contact us report from here you can see all of the contact us uh, details which have been submitted by the customer same for the feedback all of the feedback submitted by the customer you can delete the things from here also you can see the item has been deleted logout once you click on the logout then you will be redacted to the home page home login page right? so you can see it has been redacted so these all functionalities we have developed inside the project online pharmacy store and as i told you told you earlier this is a java a spring boot angular and mysql based web project web based project and this is a rest based application where angular and spring boot are running separately and angular is consuming the api of the spring boot this is a major project which has customer and admin login both so if you need any extra functionality in this project if you need any enhancement in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those things we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much